Hey Alexis Love Beauties. We are going to speak about five feminine hygiene tips I wish I knew sooner. So I'm going to get right into number one. Don't wash with the same towel. Now look, <laughs> I'm going to say it if nobody never says it. I had no idea. So quick story time. I was talking to this guy and you know, I was spending the night or whatever. I was washing up and he had like thousands of towels. And so, I mean, I always had towels available to me anyway, like growing up and stuff, living by myself and everything. So I don't know why I just always use the same towel. It was kind of embarrassing, but not really because I was comfortable with the person. So one day he sent me in the shower and he was like, Alexis, you know, I got like multiple towels and I'm like, yeah, but I got a towel. He was like, no, you're using like the same towel for your face, your armpits, your body, your feet, your vagina. Like that don't make no sense. And I was like, what? So that, <laughs> this kind of embarrassing, but not really though, not really. Um, and so I was like, huh? And he was like, yeah, like, you know, you can spread like different bacterias and germs when you're doing that. Then you're using it today. You're going to use it tomorrow. Like you can get one or two big towels, have like five or six small towels. Like it's no problem. And I was like, oh, okay. So number one, never wash with the same towel. Your face needs a separate towel. Your body needs a separate towel. Your vagina needs a separate towel. Your anus needs a separate towel. And your feet needs a separate towel. I even have a little separate towel for my hands and my feet to dry. And on the menstrual cycle, I have a whole separate towel for that because it does make sense. You got sleep in your eye. You using that towel on your body. You know, sometimes when you wash up and it'll still like, you clean, right? But later on, you might put some oil or something on then say you wash that spot and it'll dirty. So that is a whole bunch of different like dirts and stuff like that. And you do not want to mix that. The best towel to use is a white towel that, I mean, that way you'll also be able to see dirt coming off. And then also it's just more clean because you're not having like blue, red colored towels where it's bleaching off. You know, you wash things that have color and it bleaches off in the washer, the same thing on your skin. So it's just bleaching off on your skin. So I would recommend a white towel in general for all of the parts if you can, if not like a really, really, really light color towel for all of the parts, but mainly for the face and the private areas, I would say a white towel. Girl, that's crazy. I was like, what? Number two, don't wear thongs all day. So, trying to be cute all day, trying to be feminine all day, every day, is not what's tea. I know girls be like, oh girl, like no, granny panties this, granny panties that. The thing about the granny panties is, we have to ask our grannies what they knew. Why were they wearing these big underwear? I would assume it's because we need to breathe down there. So like I said, say we using the same towel, you know, we got a mesh thong on all day, sweating, walking around, doing this, doing that. You don't wanna create extra moisture down there because you'll create a yeast infection or a bacteria vaginosis. You'll throw your pH off and you'll begin to have odor coming from down there. Thongs are usually like mesh and like designed or different little cute things going on. You don't want to do those unless it's special occasion. I recommend if you do want to wear a thong all day, wear a cotton thong. Like cotton thongs are made just like panties and it's just in a thong form. You know, I wear them. They're very, very comfortable. I wear them all day. You know, some you can get cotton thongs that are absorbent as well. So they will absorb moisture. I do have a link that I'll leave below to where you can purchase some cotton thongs from Amazon as well. If you want to wear a thong, just kind of like limit that. And you don't want to wear that if you're going to move around. You know, you usually want to wear thongs when you are in a certain outfit or like I said a special occasion or even if you just want to feel good for a night but you don't want to do it all the time the granny panties are a go I say wear the granny panties every day honey and if he can't get jiggy with that then he just can't get jiggy with you because you have to breathe down there you don't want to keep that tight down there all day long you know that's a breathing organism right you look down there you'll see that it's alive just like you're alive so you want to make sure that that's breathing it's getting circulation a lot of blood flow goes down there you know when things are going on like periods or you know the different tightness and things like that it's a lot of blood going on down there so in order to keep that blood flow going you want to let that breathe and you don't want to have something that's 
always tight or you know something that's always creating extra moisture number three don't use baths and bubbles i know we still do that i know they have a lot of like bath bombs and stuff the thing with the bath waters is it's too much going on it's too much fragrances going on first of all when we take a bath we dirty so we're like, oh, i'm about to take a bath so you're going to be sitting in your dirt let's just be real you're going to be sitting in our dirt and then we have bubbles and stuff so it's just not clean right so i would recommend like a clean just all water bath if you would like something in your water and that might sound crazy but it's not if you want something in your water do oatmeal do roses or do cucumbers those things right there soften the skin does not irritate the skin um it will not irritate the area down there when you're using bubbles and the little um, bath bombs that they have we don't know what's in those things like they'll tell us certain things that's in there but if you get something just store bought or something like that and it break you out then it's going to be another problem that's a very sensitive area so you want to be careful about what you're soaking that in you have to think that you're soaking that you have to think that you're soaking your skin so you don't want a whole bunch of chemicals and colors and dyes and then if you're someone that still uses perfume it's just a lot going on you got a lot of fragrances a lot of different scents and chemicals and toxins going into your skin and that is what we do not want it is okay to take a bath just lay off on the bubbles and any like citrus things because it's unrealistic reality in reality we're not going to smell like that all day long so it's just keeping up extra pollution so trying to lay off the baths with the bubbles and any type of um i don't even know what they're called like the water frizzies you put in the water and it explode we have no idea what that is but just from that explosion we know that there's some type of acid in there that makes it do that so that might not be good for the skin either and then be careful of yoni stains that is number four quick story time this girl at my job which i should have had better discernment to know girl you better not buy nothing from her like you see what she got going on like righteous judgment and you know she wearing the stones and stuff like that the thing is, is every time somebody's selling something or somebody doing something, they're praying over it, right? So if you buy something from somebody that has demonic spirits or activities going on around them, it's going to be on the product. Well, from this young lady's appearance, I should have been, been able to put two and two together that this might not be so clean coming from her. This is when I first heard about Yoni Steams and everybody was like, yeah, girly, regulate your periods and mine's messed up. So I was like, okay, well, let me get let me try the steam or whatever and i was like what's all in here she couldn't even tell me what was all in there she like oh it's just a whole bunch of herbs she named a few that i was familiar with she was like oh it's some um what she say lavender rose and she said a couple more so i was like oh, okay like i know them it was like 30 different herbs in there the thing with the herbs is you're not sure all of the herbs that's in there be careful of the person that's selling it to you. Make sure they know everything that's in there. Those are different fragrances missing, mixing all at one time. That that does too much. So what happened was I did the steam. I know I was good, you know, on the infection side. Come on now. And so I did the steam and I broke out from it. Like I started tripping out. I was like, oh my God, I went to the doctor and everything. They're like, you good? I'm like, I know that, but I still came because something wasn't right. So literally it got poofy down there. It was red, irritated, like just didn't want nothing on it or anything. So I told her, I was like, girl, I used that steam last night. Oh my God, how did you like it? Girl, it messed me up. I was like, I don't know what type of prayer or whatever, what type of herbs was in there. Oh no, I haven't heard that complaint before. Well, whatever was what you was mixing with, with other people was fine when it got contacted me it did not work like it was just so irritated be careful with the yoni steams if you feel like first of all the only thing that's going to regulate a period is not birth control we'll talk about that later on some things are not meant to be regulated like birth like you don't want birth control you're not supposed to control birth and if you want to regulate that you want to have you know safe sex or no sex at all especially if you're not married but we'll talk about that later on and so but if you want to regulate something the best way to regulate your period is to stay away from all of those things certain baths certain underwear sex in general and it's what you eat so whatever you eat whatever hormones that that have if it's not a plant if you're eating meat all the time now you have 
animal hormones entering your body as well so everything can throw off your ph everything can throw off your hormones as well so you want to you basically want to incorporate better foods to eat and that will give you a natural slow down there eat some pineapple strawberries but we'll get into that in another video some fruits that you can have so you know you don't have irritation down there or it doesn't smell down there but the number one thing to be careful of is yoni steams if you want something to make you tighter or to help the blood flow down there just get a regular tub they're called a sif bath they usually give it to you when you get a colonoscopy because it helps the um flow of your rectum right but also you can use this just for a steam if you want to a steam for the face and anywhere on the body it all does the same thing that's why steam is good because steam causes circulation throughout the body like i said there's so much blood going down there that's a living organism so what you want to do down there is steam you can release the odors that way just steam over some water get you some regular water some hot water and steam like that i would not recommend and all the different herbs that you might not even heard of she probably don't even know what all it is all of these different scents and fragrances and i was going up there i would be careful with that and i would just think with regular water which will also reduce odor it will um you know make you tighter down there if that's what you're looking for and it'll just have you feeling clean in general and then number five don't wash with soap soap is a no now i want to tell you just a little bit sometimes smell is not coming from the actual vagina because there are so many different parts of the vagina sometimes the smell is coming from your thighs yes your inner thighs the creases so i know we want to use soap but soap has too many chemicals in there it doesn't matter if it's dove it has way too many chemicals down there now if you want to use a soap I will recommend that it's not a scented soap, but I will recommend that it's something like Dove. And if you do want like some type of smell or something, I would say just use the soap on the thigh parts, like in the creases, not anywhere near it, anywhere on it or in it, just on your thighs, your inner thighs. And that'll give you still that sensation that you want to smell, you know, flowery. I would not recommend using soap on the inside, on the outside, on the top. I only recommend using soap along the inner thighs because sometimes the smell comes from there, right? Also, if you want to use something on the inside, it's the lighting, honey. You can use a... <laughs> you can use a feminine wash. It doesn't matter if it's from the Dollar Tree like this one is, honey. The Dollar Tree or you can get like um, Summer's Eve. Sometimes cheaper is better. I know we look at name brands and be like, girl, I'm not about to use it. I'm about to just give me some Summer's Eve, right? Sometimes the ingredients on the more expensive product can also irritate you as well. Me personally, cheaper is better. Sometimes it doesn't even matter what it might be. For me personally, cheaper is better. So I will get these. This is something if you want to use on the inside, right? You can clean your whole inside with this. These are usually just like water, sodium. Doesn't really have a lot. It says it has a fragrance in here, but probably only about 0.1%. It never did anything to me. I trust, like I said, sometimes the cheaper ones weigh more than the expensive ones. So if you want to wash with something in there, you can, which I know we hear that, oh my God, I'm not about to not wash with nothing. Like that's because we're so afraid of the smells. The smells come from the food we eat. The smells come from the clothes we wear, all the bleach and all the colors that we wear. The smells come from the baths we take. The smells come from our body trying to detox detox in general and we're not allowing it to so we keep covering up that's what the smell come from a period or you know using a tampon that's got a lot of toxins in it and we can't push out the smell so it comes out in other ways but we will talk about that later if you want to use something on the inside use you a feminine wash of your choice and also you can just use water people be scared to just use water because like i said it's oh my god no it smell like i don't want it to you're so afraid, you know, you have to 
do different things and you wouldn't worry about just using water water is the number one cleaning tool anyway because these are self-cleaning organizers in their self so if you have or organizers <laughs> organisms in their self so if you're drinking a lot of water you're not going to worry about just using water down there the only thing supposed to be down there is water the only thing that's supposed to come out of there is water good urine if there's any type of odor or any type of smells or anything then just start paying attention to what you're using what you're eating liquor can make you stink down there and everything else so these were just five feminine tips that i wish i would have learned sooner we will be back with more tips because girl you know we got to go a little bit in depth because it's just stuff that people be afraid of like girl i'm not about to do that girl i never do that and it's just like but we want to keep covering up like no we're gonna be real we're gonna be real about it like we gotta cut some stuff out and stop covering it up and stop being afraid to stink for a minute like armpits like you you don't want to keep having armpit problems and you wonder why you stink but it's the food you eating it's the the chemicals that you're using the perfumes and the deodorants but we'll get to that later on those are five tips just be careful down there because that is one of the most sensitive organ organisms that you have on your body alexis loves you Mwah.